Question number 23 of the IT Password exam from Philnitz. In this question, we are being asked, which of the following is an appropriate typical example of a system operating on a supercomputer? The way to answer this is to read each and every answer available for us to choose from, and then uh, from there choose the, the best answer. The first one, letter A, is saying something about an SCM system uh, that is required for linking uh, linkage between enterprises. I think we need to know what SCM means, and um, it's uh, it's got to do something with the supply chain management, and because of that, it's saying that. Um, we need a system like that to link enterprises. I think this is not necessarily the correct answer because um, systems uh, used by current businesses to do this don't necessarily uh, use supercomputers. Maybe later on, as more and more enterprises are linked um, there will be a need for a supercomputer, but in most cases, I think a supply chain management system wouldn't necessarily need the speed of a supercomputer. Okay, so we put an X mark here. For letter B, it's saying something about the global climate change prediction system, uh, which requires large-scale scientific and technical computing now um, I think just from um, the way uh, the words are put together in this sentence looks like it's gonna be a very um, highly intensive computing and if we're talking about predicting something like the weather from our observations like for example, uh, each day I look at the, look at the weather. I look up at the sky and say that uh, it's gonna rain, and and we'll see if my prediction is true or not. Now in this case, it looks like they're gonna do something global, and um, I'm thinking too that it's gonna be not just for one or two days, but more than uh, two days, maybe a week's worth of predictions. And in that sense. Uh, I think this would need a really uh, powerful computer, a really fast computer, which can be the supercomputer. Okay, so it looks like this is the the answer, but we'll need to still read the next um, options, the next choices that we have. For uh, letter C, saying that the banking system requires uh, high reliability. Uh, but we know that banks uh, don't necessarily use the supercomputer. They've been around for, um, even here in the Philippines, for many, many years, using computer systems to assist with the ATM, to assist with um, counting how much money um, people have. But I think... Um, it's not necessary to, to have a supercomputer to do those things. Uh, if you do have a supercomputer, then maybe um, you can do much more, but for the basic um, functionalities of a banking system, seems like um, it's not necessary for the banks to have a supercomputer. So we put an X mark here. And then for uh, the last letter, letter D, an engine control system of a vehicle that requires advanced real-time control. This one um, seems like um, one of those um, possible uses of a supercomputer because you have words like advanced real-time control. But I think um, uh, in most cases, an engine control system of a vehicle Mm, from what we can observe, they they would have a computer, like a computer box, but they don't uh, necessarily need a supercomputer to at least make the engine function. Because otherwise, the cost of the vehicle would be substantially much, 
would, would be substantially more. And uh, what we would want is for more people to have access to the vehicles. And if you're selling a vehicle that costs uh, exorbitantly high, then it looks like um, um, you may have a market, but it seems like um, it's going to be a small niche only. Okay? So, in that sense, um, the correct answer is letter B. Let's see what my notes are also. Maybe we can learn something about uh, my notes. Okay, so just what I was saying a while ago. Uh, stuff about the supercomputer, large-scale, global. So, keywords are there to help us identify what is the correct answer. And then, um, for the other words, things that we can... Um, already use and can already um, um, verify that our um, systems being used um, but do not um, uh, make use of supercomputers necessarily okay so therefore the correct answer is really letter B